The provided host name is not valid for this server. There's a few reasons you might come across this, but it's likely that you made some changes to your site. These changes could be as simple as changing your domain name or migrating your site or moving the files. For us, we made a copy of our website and then we copied it over to an Amazon LightSail instance. When we copied it over, we were given a new IP address and this is likely the source of our issue. So we'll walk you through that and show you how we fixed it in our scenario. If we go to our file manager and we're using WinSCP today, we need to start a session with our website. And this is our web session. If you don't know how to set that up, we'll be talking about that in another video. Feel free to look that up or do some Googling. It's, it's fairly easy to set up. Um, but we'll log into our files for the new website that we're having issues with. And if you look here, I'll go up a bit so you can see where we came from. So this would be the root folder of our website. If you're also using a Bitnami image, then yours will look similar to this. Um, if you're not, then when you get to the root folder, everything should look pretty similar. So for my image at the very top, I need to start at opt, Bitnami, apps, Drupal, and then htdocs. So you might have some other folder here called something else, but for me, my root folder of the site is called htdocs. And then from there, we go into sites and default. In your default folder, you'll see a settings.php file. This is where we're gonna have to make some changes. But if you look here, you'll see that under our rights and permissions, we have read, read, read access only. We need to be able to write to that folder, so we'll have to make a change. We'll log in to our terminal, and I'm going to use SSH through the um, Amazon LightSail dashboard. We'll have to follow the path to that folder. From here, for me, it starts off below the apps folder. So from here, we'll just change directory to the folder that, that the PHP settings file is in. So we'll go CD, apps, Drupal, htdocs, sites, default. And here, we can see our settings.php file. And that's the file we're going to change the permissions on. Type sudo dhmod775 settings.php. When you go back to your file manager, if we look at the settings.php file, it says read, read, read still. We just need to refresh. And now we have read, write, execute access across. And we'll change that back. We don't want to leave that at 775 for security reasons. So we'll put it back to read, read, read only. Now if we open this up and edit it, we'll be inside our settings PHP file. We can come down to the bottom and you may have something similar to this. This is your trusted host patterns. Since we just copied this site over, we're not actually using this domain name for this image of the site. So we have to use the IP address that was given to us on the new image. If you don't have this, you can just scroll up a bit and you'll see it mentioned right here. They even give you an example, this whole line and then your website and then your other website name and then your other website name this is basically how you want it laid out. So you can copy this and paste it to the bottom of your screen. And then we'll just go down to the bottom and paste it to the bottom. And here you would put your www.example.com and example.com or any other name to use on a new line. Make sure that you keep this apostrophe and caret as well as this dollar sign apostrophe at the end. After you've entered your trusted host patterns, you'll need to remove everything before the quotes. This had it commented out when we took it from the example section. One thing to note on here as well is this backslash before the dot com. Anytime you're using a dot in your trusted host pattern, make sure to use this backslash. Since I already have this started up here, I'm not gonna use this, but if you don't have it, then this is where you need to be and you've entered your 
uh, websites, trusted host patterns. What I need to do, since these were already here and we're not actually using these because we're using a different image of our website, we only have an IP address. I could delete these and just enter the new IP address in, but if this wasn't an example, I might want to actually use this image of the website at some time. So I'm gonna leave that there and I'll just copy that line, paste it to the next and then delete all of that. And what I want to enter here is my example site's IP address. So we'll go ahead and enter that. And you'll notice we're using the backslash before every one of the dots in this IP address as well. And if we go back to our site and hit refresh, and there's our site. Hopefully that helped some of you out and your scenario was similar to this one. If not, feel free to stop by the forums at www.diycodeschool.com and post your problem there. Someone there may be able to help you further. So now we just need to make sure that we put our permissions back to where they were so we don't leave our folder open. So we have it at 775 right here, which is read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, and execute. We'll just go back to the terminal, bring up our last entry, and change that to 444. Hit enter. And just to verify the change worked, we will refresh. And now we're read, read, read again. And that is it.